Hey, what is up everybody? My name is MFK Clicks, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining to you how you can join the Warriors of Sunlight Covenant, along with some other key things about it you guys should know. So today I will be covering how to join the Covenant, how to level your Covenant, what you receive for pledging yourself to the Warriors of Sunlight, and how it will affect your PvP experience. So first, we will get into joining the Covenant. To join the Warriors of Sunlight, you will need the Warrior of Sunlight Talisman. This item is located in the Undead Settlement. So starting from the Undead Settlement bonfire, you want to make your way through the building directly in front of you and drop down. Once you get outside, you will see some enemies gathered around a tree that is on fire. Quickly run past them into the area below. Go past the stone archway and through the door that is directly past it. Once you're inside, drop through the hole in the floor, grab the item and equip it, and you will then be part of the Warriors of Sunlight, and you will also receive a trophy or an achievement for discovering it. The Warriors of Sunlight Covenant is leveled by offering Sunlight Medals in the Sunlight Altar, which is located in Lothric Castle. This is initially an endgame area, but it can be reached early just by triggering the Dancer of Boreal Valley fight by killing the NPC in the chapel. At a low soul level, the fight can be pretty difficult, but if you guys are bound and determined to become a Senbro, you are more than welcome to attempt the fight as soon as you reach the High Wall of Lothric. To easily reach the Sunlight Altar, start from the Dragon Slayer Armor Bonfire. Just follow the path that I take through the castle. Most of the enemies you can just run past here, though there are a few items you may want to grab along the way. Mainly the Knight's Ring, which is a great item to have if you guys are focusing on a strength build. Once you've reached the Sunlight Altar, you can open the shortcut door to allow quick access from the bonfire. But on top of that, you will receive the Praise the Sun emote for finding the altar. Once you guys are here, you can offer Sunlight Medals to deepen your allegiance to the Covenant. Sunlight Medals can be obtained in a few ways through PvP, co-op, and by farming them as well. In a PvP and co-op environment, you can obtain them by 1. Assisting someone as a Gold Phantom, or by receiving help from a Gold Phantom. The Gold Phantom signifies that that player is a part of the Warriors of Sunlight Covenant. 2. Killing the host as a Red Phantom while having the Warriors of Sunlight Talisman equipped. Or 3. Invade another world and kill the host as any Covenant while another Red Phantom is a Warrior of Sunlight. If you are wanting to farm these items without doing PvP or co-op, you can head to the Lothric Castle Bonfire and farm the Lothric Knight that is next to it. The drop itself is pretty rare, so if you guys have low item discovery, this might prove to be ineffective. I equipped the Mimic Chest Helmet, the symbol of Avarice, and I had two drop within five minutes of starting, so I do recommend that you get one. You guys can obtain the symbol of Avarice by farming the Mimic Chest scattered throughout the world. The Warriors of Sunlight Covenant offers two rewards for deepening your allegiance. I unfortunately do not have the build that allows me to showcase them in action, but I will tell you guys how you get them and what they are. The first is rewarded at 10 Sunlight Medals, and it is the Miracle Sacred Oath. Sacred Oath will boost your attack and damage absorption for yourself and other players in your vicinity for 60 seconds. Your second Covenant Reward is awarded at 30 Sunlight Medals and is another miracle by the name of Great Lightning Spear. This is a much stronger version of the regular Lightning Spear Miracle which you can obtain in the game. Now that you know how to join the Covenant, how to strengthen your allegiance and farm the item that allows you to do so, and what you will receive, now I will tell you the effects this will have on your PvP experience. Before I wrap this part up, I do want to say the matchmaking formula in Dark Souls 3 is dependent on your covenant, but is subject to change at any given time with further updates to the game. The most notable change is that when you join another player's world, your character will now be golden instead of your standard color. As I said earlier, the golden color signifies that that player is a part of the Warriors of Sunlight Covenant. You will now receive Sunlight Medals for achieving your purpose in a co-op or PvP instance, along with anyone else that you are playing with. So if you're playing with three other people and you're doing a boss, once you complete said boss, all players will receive a Sunlight Medal. When you invade another player with the Red Sign Soapstone or the Red Eye Orb, the color of your summon sign will be orange. These are just some minor changes. They don't affect too much, just some cosmetic things more than anything. So to wrap things up here, this is how you can join the Warriors of Sunlight 
and what you will receive for doing so. I will be covering more covenants in depth here on my channel in the near future, so be sure to stick around. But other than that, if you guys enjoyed, it would be greatly appreciated if you would leave a like on the video. And if you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I would like to thank you guys for watching though, and I will see you all later. Stop it, it's just not right.